Metal Jesus here, and I am back again with Anna. And today we are covering wacky pinball games. So let's get started. Yes. All right, so the first game is gonna be mine, and that is for the PlayStation 2, that is Flipnik uh, Ultimate Pinball. Have you played this? I have not played that. It is so weird and wacky. So basically, imagine pinball, but it's like an adventure fantasy game. Hmm. So there's, there's, there's all these like little islands of different uh, tables and they're all connected. And essentially what you do is you move through all of these um, kind of you know, unlocking stuff, getting to next stages, finding hidden areas. But it, it's weird though, because there's aliens in it, there's butterflies, um, there's like frozen wasteland. I think there's even a section here that looks like Tron. It's, right on. <laughs> it's out of control, it's out of control. But what I love about this though, is that this shows, this shows a company that's not necessarily trying to emulate a physical pinball machine. They're, they're taking video games and essentially trying to make something new. And that's what I love about this. It, it It's completely unexpected. I can appreciate that. Yeah, so so if you are into pinball and you're looking for something really weird and wacky, definitely pick up Flipnik. Yes. All right, so next up we have some games that you may have remembered from our Saturn video. That's right. And that is, of course, Necronomicon. So metal. So metal. <laughs> <laughs> it starts out with that funky, weird live action, you know, satanic it, ritual that you have to do before. With the monks, yep. yeah. You have to do it before you play pinball. Yes. And it's just cool. Like, it's very engaging. It's very weird. Mm -hmm. and, and the soundtrack, it just it sucks you into the game. You want to keep on playing. Yeah, and for those that don't know, this is, what, what's really cool about this is if you're a Dream Theater fan, uh, John Petrucci made the music for this. And so it's instrumental sh shredding guitar. It's awesome. Yeah. And if you like this, wait till you hear about this. It is The Last Gladiators. Yeah. Uh, same company. Uh, as Necronomicon who made this and it's along the same deal. Great guitar music, mm -hmm. uh, some wacky, you know, tables. Um, you got like gladiator and like dragons and it's just, it's awesome. It's interesting you mentioned that it's the same company. I didn't know that because they feel very similar. They really do. Okay, well cool. So next up for wacky pinball games, well, anything on the Virtual Boy was a little bit wacky. Yeah. <laughs> so, so here you have Galactic Pinball. And for those who don't know, the, the Virtual Boy was Nintendo's sort of failed handheld, quote unquote, uh, console. You basically put it over your eyes and it completely blocks out your surroundings. And essentially everything is in red LEDs, but it's true 3D. Lasers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But surprisingly, this is kind of a fun pinball game. Hmm. I mean, it, it's actually 3D, the, the table's, you know, on a plane. Um, it's not the most exciting pinball game because it's not, you know, it, it, it's not very in-depth. Yeah. But... If you like red and black, you'll, yeah. you'll love this <laughs> Yeah, <game>. exactly. <laughs> but we have to mention it because anything on the Virtual Boy is so bizarre, and so this, this definitely had to be there. True that. All right, so next up... We got Metroid Pinball. Um, we had to put this on here because, you know, a Metroid pinball game and it came out on the DS and, you know, it's, it's, a, I think it's only wacky because it's Metroid, but right. it's not, it's not, you know, too crazy. It's just kind of funky. Well, yeah, I mean, Samus obviously goes into the ball form and so someone probably saw that and go, ooh, that could be a pinball game, yeah. right? <laughs> but the, the cool thing is, is that it's a good pinball game. I actually like it. Yeah, so it's actually pretty fun. And then moving over to the Game Boy Advance, here is the Pinball of the Dead. And this is a surprisingly fun horror pinball game based on the House of the Dead series. So it has three tables. And again, it's surprisingly great for a handheld. I, I liked it. Yeah, lots of uh, detail on it. You got, mm -hmm. you know. In boss battles, yep. which is cool, <laughs> which is cool. Yep. So definitely check out the Pinball of the Dead. So next up is a pinball game on my iPad. It's also on uh, iPhone and also uh, Android, and I think you can even get on, on consoles and stuff like that. But basically it's Zen Pinball, and in there they sell a ton of different tables. But one of the weirdest ones is Marvel's Deadpool. So he is a crazy character to begin with because he breaks the fourth wall all the time, but he, he's also hilarious. But the pinball table is awesome. 
So you haven't played it, right? I have not played it, but I'm I'm already hooked. Keep talking. It's well, first of all, so he makes fun of Tony Stark. He makes fun of other tables that 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 company has released. So he basically right off the bat says his table's the best and the other ones suck. Um, he dances in there like he can get down and he starts boogieing. Um, uh, there, there's like a little mini uh, Deadpool that'll like attack him. There's also like a, a mech suit. There's all this crazy stuff in this pinball table. It's awesome. Dude, that sounds so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I paid like two bucks for it. So it if you have a, a like a portable device, you should definitely check it out. It's it's pretty funny. That sounds awesome. All right, so next up is a game that a lot of people know about if you own a Turbo Graphics, and that is Devil's Crush. And this game is awesome for all sorts of reasons. For one, just being like really like satanic and metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of over the top, but it's awesome. I mean, one of my favorite things about this is that there's just so much going on this, on the screen. Yeah, like you can see like the blood going through the veins. Yeah, and it's yeah. just like they have little rituals going on. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty pretty intense. One of my favorite parts is in the center of, of one of these tables is this this woman I, I don't know if she's a warrior or what I don't know the whole story she like a vampire kind of yeah but yeah. she turns like more evil and and like oh dude it's awesome like <laughs> I want to use her picture as an avatar on some site just because it's so cool looking but yeah Devil's Crush is definitely a kick-ass and fairly weird pinball game agreed all right and then last up here we have a game that I always mispronounce uh, it is Fantastic Pinball, not Fantastic Pinball. I wonder if that was a typo or what? I, you know, I don't, I don't <laughs> so even <weird>. know. <laughs> but it is, I would say it is pretty fantastic. Um, the, your first, you know, I have a hard time getting through the levels. <laughs> so I'm very familiar with the first right. table. Um, and it's kind of, it's a heaven and hell theme, you know. You have three layers and you, you try to get to the top and... Uh, you can like shoot some of the enemies and it takes you to a weird screen where you like destroy somebody's bedroom with toys. It's it's very weird, all hmm. over the place. Weird. Yeah. You know, weird. wacky. Yeah, it's perfect for this video. Yeah, yeah, and it's on the Saturn, so you oh. need another another pinball game for the Saturn. Awesome, Pick awesome. Well, and then as an honorable mention, you had one as well. Yes. <laughs> and it was Odama uh, for the GameCube. We've heard about this game mm -hmm. a lot and it is so definitely fits that weird and wacky category it's like a pinball strategy game and it's very complex it's not your average game you have to like you know plot out your attacks against the enemies i think there's yeah. some leveling involved there's a bunch of troops that you're yeah. you're navigating on the so i haven't played it but it, it looks amazing so yeah. very weird very and, weird yeah, yeah worth mentioning yeah well that was a pretty quick little video here. We could have shown so many more. Um, we, we actually brought a bunch more, but we'd love to know what games we missed because there are literally, you know, just hundreds, if not thousands of pinball games out there. So let us know down in the comments below. Yes, please. Absolutely. Well, hey, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Yes. All right, guys. Thanks very much for subscribing and take care. If you like this video, well, Anna and I have done a bunch of videos together, including a Sega Saturn Hidden Gem series, as well as our top 10 Sega Saturn games. So many awesome titles for that system, so definitely check those videos out.